Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader here. Welcome to this session. In today's session, we're going to be looking at which is or which are the best micro futures contracts to scalp and day trade. There's been such massive interest and I've now got hundreds of members that are trading the micros because if you've got a small account or perhaps you're uh, just cutting your teeth as a trader getting underway, the micro futures are a great way to launch your trading career and there's a number of tricks and ideas that I want to share with you today that will really get you on the right path with these now this is just uh, hopefully this video will be no more than 30 minutes but I do want to give you some some fantastic information so we'll just see how we go for time and uh, it's just uh, an offshoot I suppose to some of the other videos I'm recording at the moment on how to scalp and day trade the e-mini and the micro futures now what's really important trade is that some of the ideas and concepts I talk to you about trading you can apply to any market the markets are geometric in nature the patterns are the same whether you trade futures Forex or stocks they're very very similar so who's the micro futures ideally for or ideal for they're ideal for the smaller traders or the ones that are getting underway or perhaps trading hasn't been good for you up till now and you're a little shaky on execution you're a little shaky uh, you're fearful you've blown your account a number of times I know where you're coming from so getting back in the game micro futures are a great opportunity now I do need to pull up the disclaimer there is a risk in trading traders don't trade with the rent money very important please feel free to pause this recording to read the disclaimer and just a very very quick advertisement uh, go to my website you can download um, I have sent you the my training manual also my ebook the truth about day trading and even more importantly come and join us as a member for $197 this is as you would discover a $10,000 program for $197 I include all my indicators there's over two there's probably 400 hours of video training in my program now there's hundreds of handouts there's nothing else like it in the world uh, I don't have a huge team I'm a trader and I've got uh, three staff that work for me overseas I love what I do I'm passionate about trading hopefully that comes through as we get underway so become a member um, and yes you can join my coaching but um, program if you want it's ninety seven dollars a month it's peanuts and we don't I don't have telemarketers that ring you and try to upsell you into some five or ten thousand dollar program so anyway visit my website find out more so let's get into this so first of all the micro futures there are four main micros we've got the micro e-mini uh, the ES normally it's 1250 a tick or $50 a point on the main contract now they brought this out uh, last year mid last year I think actually I think it was September uh, it's a dollar 25 a tick the e-mini Russell is normally $20 a point or $5 a tick uh, here it's only uh, two dollars a point on the micro and 50 cents a tick then we've got the um, oh wrong one that's the Russell sorry <laughs> that's five then the same value on the Nasdaq let me get this right the uh, MNQ did I say before that my videos are all real and unedited well there you go you're going to hear that mistake uh, then we've got the Dow Jones the DJ okay which is um, uh, normally five dollars a point or a tick here it's uh, 50 cents a tick so which is the best of the best well first of all uh, just one of my members uh, one of my coaching members here uh, was trading the MES and here's what he said a few months ago thanks I'm now convinced the MES is the best instruments today trade now normally I wouldn't trade the micros because I'm on the big contracts however I've started to trade the micros during the globex session which we'll cover in a moment and I reckon been, I've been recommending to our members and you'll see why in a moment that they start to consider the MNQ the uh, Nasdaq uh, which is 50 cents a tick or two dollars a point and uh, William sent me this uh, just last week on the 30th of July he said it's much better than the MES and he is correct and the reason it is you get a better trading range now traders I'm talking about the ME the, the the micros if you say trading one to ten contracts 
once you start to get above that because the commissions are higher you then want to go to trading the standard contract so let me say that again once you get to 10 contracts you want to go and convert to the big contract but I want to give you some ideas when it comes to that so first of all one of the things we need to consider is volume now I take the script here's some um, uh, my um, uh, radar screen on the markets that I'm interested in and if we look down here at the micro on this day on the 31st of July we can see that uh, the market turned over 898,000 micro contracts on the NQ and 619,000 on the big contract and this was just before the market closed the day before the Nasdaq uh, turned over 800,000 uh, there of the micro NQ 503 of the big contract and the day before that and remember we are in July so well, well we just rolled over into August but summer holidays so we generally generally speaking see the volume down so we can see here on this particular day the volume was down and uh, 550 sorry was it 542,000 micro contracts uh, with 362,000 on the big contract so with that being said then we can see there's massive volume now flowing through and so for the smaller traders or for those traders that want to scale in and out there are many many benefits with these micros so one of the things we need to consider is that when it comes to trading the micros which charts are we going to use now I love now the Renko and the tick I use a combination of two so it's getting beyond really the course of beyond this video why I use these but we'll see the Renko uh, in a moment and you'll see some major benefits now also this video originally was going to be on how to scalp these markets so I'm not going to focus too much on this on scalping today I just want to really focus on why the NQ okay and in the next video I'll be doing next uh, day or two my might, might even try to get it done today we'll be talking more about scalping because you can do really well very short-term scalping on the micros however you need to take into account commissions so before we go to the charts a couple of really important things how do we make money out of a micros and this is all about having a target a poor man or woman is not a man or woman without a cent but a man or woman without a dream and this is where the beauty of these micros comes in for an example if you start with seventeen hundred dollars and you make just fifty dollars a day and I'm going to show you how to do that in a moment okay within week uh, 30 you're up to earning 10,000 a week and how this table works is that as soon as you start off with 1700 and as soon as that goes to 3400 you start trading two contracts when you've got another 1700 you start trading three so it's very very conservative but based upon this program here uh, and just $50 a day you can have a potential net of 10,000 a week in 30 weeks and your capital within 50 weeks is up to half a million now before you start rolling your nose up and and, uh, and and whinging and complaining it can't be done crap you can do this traders if you haven't been doing it or it ha you, the trading hasn't been good to you in the past let me show you how to do it and I'll give you some great ideas when we go to the charts in a moment but I need you to be open-minded you know, I, you know it's just and that's one of the greatest challenges with traders today is there, there is a lot of BS BS out there and so you know so many traders have their they're closed to being open-minded their minds are uh, closed like a steel trap if you like you've got to be open to the possibility now on this what if you make 75 a day we can see here you're up to 10,000 a week in 19 weeks and within uh, where oh well, you're up to a million in capital in 46 weeks and this is when you start trading your additional contract only after you get seventeen hundred dollars now I will tell you you can see here that you are up here you're actually trading in the end 100 micros um, at a time but let me tell you right now you would get massive slippage on 100 micros so remember earlier I said as you build your account 
every time you get to 10 you start trading a standard contract you'd be trading only 10 standard lots to be doing this okay and your weekly income is 37,500 and that's trading just 10 lots now and I will just uh, show you this is that um, when you become a member you actually get uh, this table and you can play around with this so let's just say here that you wanted to be um, really say you wanted to be aggressive and say if you started off with fourteen hundred dollars in your account and you were say making eighty dollars a day okay what this tells me is down here you'd be up to uh, earning ten thousand dollars a week in around 15 weeks but let me just quickly tell you this the reason I say 1700 traders is risk management because I'm going to show you that one of the best concepts that I've discovered with the micro NQ is to uh, trade with bricks and anyway you'll see it in a moment when we get to it but your risk is going to be on average $27 per trade if you go the way I'm going to show you now that means to stay within the 2% rule you need to have $1,350 in your account why do I then say 1700 well if you're trading after hours some brokers uh, at the moment we've got a lot of volatility in the market some brokers require that you have a full margin in your account and the margin for some brokers is 1650 on the MNQ it's less on other markets so a lot of this is really uh, um, based around what your broker requires now during the New York hours you can have a lot less in your account however you still need to take in account the 2% risk management rule so whichever way you cut it you need to have at least 1400 in your account if you risk more than 2% I'm sorry you will probably end up losing your capital there's some magical thing happens in the market if you know so many traders out there say you can risk five percent etc rubbish you've got to um, be at that two percent or less it's so important and so you get this and I show you how to use it as a member but it's just risk management so I could really fluff these figures up and make them look as good as I wanted to the thing is though it's not real you've got to really have that 15 to 1700 now they're on a hundred dollars a day you're up to ten thousand a week within 13 weeks and look at your capital base within 35 weeks you got a million dollars there and that is trading only 10 lots so let's go to the charts and I'm going to show you and explain to you um, uh, these things now a number of things first of all actually let me show you this this is a little table that I use with my members and um, we're talking the M and Q now the lower the time frame the more trades yes you will have but the more in commissions you pay and the greater in slippage etc you get a lot of noise on the lower time frames so uh, what I've discovered is that the best time frame to trade on the micro which I really love uh, which you can basically trade 23 hours a day that is the markets closed around an hour a day and weekends of course you can get away with trading the four point Renko now a four point Renko there the way I do it is my risk is $25 plus my commission okay so my risk is $25 per contract now I'm after as a minimum seven steps and I'll show you what that is in a moment now seven steps will bring in $28 per contract you can go up to 10 steps 40 I'll go for whatever you like however I am a short-term trader now at the moment when I'm recording this this is actually Monday afternoon Australian time and it's Sunday night rather late what is it uh, Central Standard Time it's 2340 so it's 20 minutes to midnight in the US uh, on a Sunday night so our volume as you were about to see is, is down at generally speaking we'll have a lot more traders from the US market will trade late into the evening not so much volume usually on a Sunday now what that means is when you've got lower volume you can drop the time frame down so here I've got a three-point Renko 
and so if the markets really slow you can have your four point but you can also trade the three there's a combination of both but what's important here is this the minimum I'm after is what I call five steps as I'll show you which is $20 per contract so to net your $75 a day and there's a number of reasons I'm after 75 per contract uh, is you really after a good five of these a day even better still to go and get your seven steps you just need three of those a day 20 uh, of seven steps and I'll show you what that is in a moment three a day and you've hit your target of $75 per contract as a quick reminder what does that mean to you $75 a day per contract starting off with 1700 you've got the potential of being up to 10,000 per week income just and, and only by increasing your contracts every time you double your money okay very very conservative now you've got to have goals traders now some traders love the micro ES and the reason I'm really promoting here the MNQ to you is the volume is is and today as you'll see in a moment we'll look at the what we call the Globex volume I'll show you that in a sec but uh, you generally get a larger trading range so where your risk is $25 on a six tick Renko okay so our risk is the same as a four point so six ticks is one and a half points okay is you get more bang fuel buck larger moves on the MNQ now yes uh, you'll get a lot more traders maybe are interested in the MES but more and more are going over to the MNQ because you get a trading range a much better trading range now before we go to the charts to one thing I want to say is in my program I teach a lot of different setups very very important you focus on just a couple all right so when I show you a few different setups from today you start off and you focus on two trend following strategies alone so you want to trade um, and we start off with the 34b and what we call the 2b all right they're easy to learn they're reliable um, I have a kick butt virtually day in day out so it's very very important that you focus okay and I just want to mention it because sometimes traders look at the different setups that I'll show you and they become overwhelmed now what we're looking at right here now is the four point Renko and, and how I trade is I use three time frames you can just use two if you're a brand new trader we start off with two and as soon as you can we you get to three and uh, the reason being we're trading in the direction of the higher time frame and with these there's something magical happens with the time frames that I use and they just just work brilliantly together now in saying that one thing I just want to point out to you right now is the volume now we looked at the volume normally now we're looking at trading we're during the what we call the Globex session right now so after hours and the Globex session can be a great time to learn how to day trade you get home from work uh, the market reopens at uh, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time 5 p.m. Uh, Central yes the volume is a lot less but it's also generally speaking a lot slower and there's some fantastic trading opportunities now I mentioned today particularly and it's the summer holidays our volume is down but if, if we look at the micro in uh, MQ right now today so far there's been nearly 67,000 contracts trade on the micro yes the um, there's been 63,000 contracts trade now on the big contract yes there's been 93,000 on the uh, ES trade and on the NQ there's been only 29,000 what does that tell us there's a hell of a lot of traders are loving the micro NQ which means great trading ranges for you that's how we make money we want to see these trends okay so remember I mentioned to you I'm after between five and seven steps 
so if we look again at this let me just pull that up and show you so remember I said to you that at five steps is worth $20 before commissions and seven steps is worth $28 three of those a day you've hit your net $75 how do we do that if we look at this chart, now this is actually from Friday and we'll go to what's been happening today right now but this is um, this setup is what we call a 2b and actually so is that one now our entry is not going to be until the close of the third candle we're not you're not in until the fourth yes you can get in earlier but with a four point Renko we want to be conservative it gives you more time and for a newer trader it makes it easier to trade okay now every one of these little step downs and these are what I call steps see those they're worth four dollars each now we're after a minimum before we go to break even we're after a minimum of five and if you're say trading two contracts you'll probably scalp I would recommend you scalp your first one off at five and you go for seven to eight for your second if you're a one contract trader a trader just getting underway um, uh, it kicks butt trading with the trend trading uh, these two B's and the 34 B's scalping five steps just works an absolute treat so let's look at this this is uh, 9 15 on Friday so one two three see that romp your five in there now yes you're going to get slippage and that's the other thing you can use either what we call a, a sell stop or you can use a market order which means you're going to get a couple of ticks slippage but when you're trading a high time frame you can afford that okay now so five there uh, one two three four so you were in that trade till over here and then it continued to go down and there's a lot of ways that you can go for your runners by trailing now what I want you to notice here traders is this we want to learn to trade in the direction of the higher time frames so on this one here this let's just have a look at this this is exactly what you would have been looking at on Friday let's just go to the far right hand side of the screen okay now looking at this uh, ladies and gentlemen what's the direction of the market right now we're heading down okay the market is heading down look at that look at that okay and there's a number of indicators here and for those that are watching that are pure price action traders yes you can do without a couple of these indicators you don't have to use them however indicators are tools but what is important to me is my EMAs here for trend direction so you actually had uh, and blind Freddy when you learn that this is a 2b there that was a 2b uh, uh, that there is a 2b and the natural fact there's almost your three trades there okay just on that there okay so we're looking at trading with the trend only now for my experienced traders in that are watching this this one down here is what I call a 1d what I've discovered is a really um, an incredible format of uh, picking up divergence trades on all time frames and I call them either um, a t19 a 1 or a 2 or a 3d in quality now for an example what I've got right here is a 1d and a 1d is a divergence on this one that appears on my highest time frame they kick butt big time now what the patterns that we see on the highest time frame you just see on the smallest as well but in a smaller picture however what you will see here is this if you looked at this right here on its own and this is why it's really important that over time every trader must understand how divergence works why it's important to understand how divergence works because there are certain trades it looks like a great with trend trade and you jump in only to see yourself stop down and we call these 2bds and they appear after these one two and three D's you want to be very very careful of these okay and nearly always they turn into what we call the money on the floor trade and you can do get a, a really great run thereafter now let me say this um, as well I've trained thousands of traders now I've got over 200 traders that uh, are in my coaching room every week and the big thing I say to every trader you've got to treat this as a 90 to 180 day internship 
yes you can go and pick the, if you're experienced these setups you, you once you understand you go wow that makes sense okay but you've got to follow the rules for someone that's new okay give yourself that 90 days okay um, uh, these are you know trading is nothing more than a pattern solving exercise but I wanted to show you this okay for two BDs it's very very important that you understand when not to enter a trade and it's after a strong divergence signal back in the opposite direction let's fast forward to today's action okay so what we'll do we'll just go back uh, to the open of the Globex session now on Sunday night US time the market opens which is uh, 8 a.m. Queensland or, or Sydney time uh, Monday morning so it's it's Monday afternoon here it's Sunday night nearly midnight Central Standard Time and so the market opens and it's not tradable usually the first five to ten minutes all right you'll see it fly open from what whatever's happening and even during the day a normal day the market closes uh, at 5 p.m. central and reopens uh, sorry it closes um, uh, sorry uh, 5, 5, 5 p.m. Eastern and it opens at 6 p.m. Eastern again so it's closed for an hour and quite often we'll get this jump in the market you know it's been closed an hour it doesn't know what it wants to do and also don't forget like last week it was earnings season okay so we had the earnings month so you've got a lot of um, uh, profit releases um, uh, after hours so that can also affect the market but anyway let's talk about the micro here so the market opens it comes down and I'm interested in what's going to happen here so these white paint bars this is a pattern all right so that's a pattern and these don't plot until the third candle I've now got a short signal right there now how do I know I've got a short signal well what's happening on my anchor chart one what's happening on my anchor chart two and it's also what time was that it's also eight minutes after the markets open so we're in on the third candle and bang right so one two three four five six so you picked up your five and if you're a scalper there's your five okay market pulls back and we get another one and for my experienced members in the room what is that that's a 34b and so is that one as well besides a 2b it's also a 34b and away we go bang now markets in falling quite severely now we come down and we get what do I get here let me just sorry just want to pull that over we now get a 1d I'm just going to get that right there let's make sure I've got the right spot there because we had a lot of experience a lot of my current members watch these and okay so there is my divergence on my anchor chart one okay so I've got a 1d now traders when we got a 1d where's our target our targets the 89 right and here we didn't quite hit the 89 but did we get our five to seven steps one two three four five six seven thank you very much and also what's very important when you um, do testing or if you're sim trading you've always got to tick through your target okay so you've got to last slippage and all that sort of thing but there's your five there's your seven and let's just say you're going for your five 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 and five okay so that's sixty dollars in those moves now remember earlier I said you want to be very careful of these B's straight after divergence as we had on the other one there's one there and we want to take the trade straight after which we call them t4s and away we go thank you very much now we then get up here and what have I now got let's just scroll along here and that's it there okay what's the direction and we just wait for a reversal can what's the direction of the trend we're coming off at this stage okay this is a typical ABC pattern and we want to scalp this particular trade oh, and I should point out traders where I say our risk is $25 on this particular time frame my stop is going my entry is a couple of ticks below this third candle my stop goes one tick above that's why it's $25 all right because you're not going to sometimes you do 
skip right in on the close of the third but sometimes you don't so it, on average your stop is $25 you can have smaller stops you may notice most of these the moves underway anyway you've got momentum this is momentum trading now uh, down here a little bit further along and one thing you'll get and this is where so many traders um, are not sure is that and where, you, where I say hmm, this when I say hmm, and this is what I teach right just don't, if you're not sure even though that was a over there that was a, a nice 34 B just there on your highest time frame if you're not sure don't take it there's plenty of trades around there's always plenty of trades around and what you want to be doing is looking for this the fanning of the EM see that there chop city okay yes and I marked this up I was doing some coaching with a member um, uh, why he would buy there however for newer members you're looking for the fanning of your EMA see that there see that there that's the fanning you don't take that one you're gonna jump in on that one thank you very much now this is as you can see he was over an hour so what do we do now what I've done let me just pause it I want to make sure that because you could see my live account and I don't want to show that to the world let me just pause this for a moment yes I did have it expanded so um, because I've got multiple screens it makes it very easy so this is a three-point Renko the three-point Renko will give you an early heads up on a lot of these moves and what I've got just I've expanded this fully but my trading uh, um, dome is just on the other side if I just pull that back it would just be there so what I've got above my normal screen that one there is my dome where I place my trades is above straight above here and I have the three period sorry the three point there why it allows me to then look for an earlier entry or give me an early heads up of what may be happening here and you do that with other markets but before we close off I just want to explain uh, why the four point Renko well if we consider this is a four point Renko on the micro here and this is the four point Renko on the big contract if you look at this here they model almost exactly they're really virtually exactly the same now where I said to you that your stop is $25 four points that's a big stop for day traders okay on the big contract which you can see it's basically exactly the same your stop would be $250 per trade compared to $25 here so remember over here where I said to you that once you got to um, uh, 10 contract you'd start trading one and so see over there where it says you're trading 100 micros in fact you would be trading 10 uh, standard lots and you'd be allowing let me go back so I don't want to shortchange you I want you to understand it ideally to trade this way on the micro ideally I'd like to see you with 1700 if you've got less by the way um, you can still go and trade the exact same concepts on the Forex market okay and trade micros or minis and build your account okay but it's very important you never ever risk any more than 2% as you build your account also you want to lower that but what this means I want you to think about this very carefully where we're allowing $1,700 per micro over here when we convert to a big one your account is big enough that you're allowing 17,000 for the big contract okay so your risk parameters you're still well under your 2% 250 per uh, uh, risk per contract you've got that in your account what's the advantage of that the advantage of that is you've got a lot more time in placing your trades when you trade uh, uh, a four point okay which is 16 ticks now normally when we scalp let me just show you this here um, what I've got here is my scalping chart and forget all these other dots and other stuff here I wasn't planning to show you this but uh, here this is the ES and this is just a two point sorry a two tick Renko 
all right now right there you've got them um, actually a uh, a 2b right there now so you just had one right there right now and we'll probably get uh, let me look here we've probably got a divergence trade setting up in a moment just here let me just pull this back um, no I won't get distracted I was about to explain to you what's happening <laughs> I won't get stuck in that now uh, let me just pull that I'm just gonna check this you probably got a, a little scalp see there we've got divergence setting up here and see right there so we've actually got a a 2d setting up here right now okay so we got a high high on price and we've got a lower high on our MACD and over here we've got a little lower high here uh, doesn't qualify on the big one now here we've got a two tick and so with a two tick uh, now you, you would have been short now what you can actually do and just to explain this to you why we're looking at this live this is where you've got to understand where to place your sell stop remember I said to you we place sell stops and you see that little t19 here where's our target our target if we were to take that one would be down here at the floor pivot level so it's midnight here we can see be down here all right now this is not a great divergent signal uh, why number one your divergence is on your two lowest time frames now also we need to consider traders what we call time of day trades it's now 3 50 p.m. at 5 p.m. we have the Frankfurt open in Australia okay so 5 p.m. we've got which is 9 a.m. in Frankfurt Germany we've got the open of the futures markets there then at 6 p.m. it's 9 a.m. in London and just so you know each one of these little tick downs is $12.50 right so four of those so what's our minimum target our minimum target that we'd be after traders is four ticks four ticks is $50 per contract now and I will have to tell you this because I know some members will be wondering so what's our risk with this particular trade well if we had have entered uh, right here we would have had a seven tick stop that is if I entered and managed to get in on the close there and put my stop one tick above I've got a stop there of seven ticks which is 8750 per contract if you use a sell stop and place your stop well up here you've got an eight tick stop which is $100 and we're on a really low time frame so the whole point of a story I was trying to tell you is that when you're scalping generally using really low time frames in and out in and out and that's a lot easier on the big contract the commissions lower etc but if you're learning to trade or you want to have a really easy going trading career early in your career you start off on the micros on these higher time frames here is another one of these 2BDs remember I said to you that you've got to watch these 2BDs after divergence here okay we get back to here there was a I was one over there wherever it was so there's been only two BDs two of them so far today and both of them were losses now you did get a, a little winner afterwards okay but there's a, there's a reason why you avoid that but I won't go into that now but look at the overall trend what's the trend of the market okay we're in an uptrend so what's the higher time frame why would I take this one this is what we call a t12 look at this you're bouncing on your higher time frames anyway getting distracted now <laughs> so traders um, getting back to this there's a fantastic opportunity for those with a smaller account that want to start off and really accelerate and build their wealth okay uh, if you're a tick chart fan you can use tick charts you can use time based of course but Renko work an absolute treat as well so um, if you're not already already a member become a member uh, you get all of this it's just a ton go and visit my website and there you'll see some videos on everything that you get uh, but uh, once again the micro NQ offers some fantastic trading opportunities thank you traders see you on the next video and the next one actually I'll be talking there about uh, 
uh, where are we here I think it's down here we'll be talking about how we scalp for these smaller targets but what we've got to take into account here is we've got to take into account to get a $75 say to average $75 a day okay you've got to be doing that some um, uh, there 4.2 trades a day 5.4 trades a day if you get four steps etc because you'll get a lot more trades it'll give you the smaller returns but you need to net a lot more all all of that will be disclosed on the next video thank you traders.